Hey guys, welcome to my channel and thanks for watching. Have you ever been in the middle of building an image when, bam, you get an error that looks like that? My guess is that you have, otherwise you wouldn't be here today watching this. This error comes up when you're building a new machine, uh, Windows 7, Windows 8, 8.1, 10, doesn't seem to matter. You're using audit mode and you have joined a computer to a domain, which means you've probably got Windows Pro, Ultimate, Enterprise, one of those that allows you to join a domain. You join the computer to the domain, the domain pushes down a security policy for the passwords, and all of a sudden you start getting this error. Good news is this is an easy one to fix. I'm going to show you the easiest way to get on with your life, and then I'll give you a couple other ways that you can address it if you just want the extra information. Easiest way to handle this, press Shift F10 to get to a command line. Type secpol.msc to get to the security policy console. Go to the account policies, password policy, and you can see here that the minimum password length is set to eight. That's a problem because the audit mode password uses a null password, it's blank, so it does not meet the requirements. Unfortunately, that error doesn't say anything about what is causing the problem. That's what it is though. Change that to zero. Turn off complexity if it's on. Depending on your network, there could be something else. This tends to be the most common though. So turn those things back to where they were. Close this window. Wow. Learn how to type. And when I hit OK, You can already see that we didn't get the error and we're golden we're at the desktop so from here you can continue on with whatever you need to do the only risk is that you may do something that causes those policies to be reapplied if so you can just revert them back I've never seen that happen but I guess conceivably it could happen but since that happens when you actually join it to the domain it shouldn't really be a concern so another way that you can handle this, uh, I'm going to turn those policies back on. And I'll just tell you right now, if that worked for you, there's no reason to keep watching. This is all extra stuff and may or may not be any help to you. So feel free to uh, drop off. But if you do, make sure you leave a comment letting me know whether it helped or not and uh, any other feedback you might have. So I'm going to set it back to how it was and I'm going to reboot the computer. And when we get back to that screen, we should get the same error that we were getting before. This time we're going to change the password to meet those requirements, which will also let us get back into the desktop. There's the error. So this time we're going to do the same thing, Shift F10. But this time we're going to type comp mgmt.msc for uh, Computer Management Console. We're going to go to the local users and groups, users, and then we're going to set the password on the administrator. Set it to something that meets the criteria, meaning upper, lower, special character, number, at least three of those four things, and at least eight characters long. Hit OK. Close that. That would also get us past the error. You can do the same thing from the command line if you just happen to be a CLI command line kind of guy. The command is net user administrator since that's the name of the account we're working on and then the password that you want to use. I'm going to give it password.123 because that meets the criteria but you shouldn't use that obviously. Command completed successfully and just to make sure it worked we're going to restart it one thing to note is if you do it this way you are going to get an error when it gets to the desktop because now that null password that it's using as part of the sysprep audit mode process the password is wrong so it's going to tell you that the password's incorrect you can see that we already got past where we were there's our password incorrect error hit OK type in that password that we created and we're good to go 
this will only happen during that original process. Once you dump it to a file and you've processed an unattend file in there, this shouldn't happen again. And that's because the script or unattend or whatever you're using is going to insert the correct password and it's going to make this kind of a null point. But this first time, it can happen. And that's why no matter how many times you reload it from CD, it'll keep happening again and again because it's that first time you get that password error. Fortunately, super easy to fix. So that's pretty much it. it. Nothing much more to it. So if this was helpful for you, make sure you like the video. Uh, if you have other questions that you'd like me to address or things that I can show you, make sure you send me a message or let me know. And uh, I would love to make more of these videos. If these videos are terrible and you don't want any more, uh, don't let me know that. Just let me know the good stuff. Anyway, thanks for watching.